-hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> to get to the application for the Bluetooth controller, go to this SNES Connect application. You're going to have the default device is the SNES controller, which is the Bluetooth name of the controller. Uh, you can click on the actual default device settings to enable the Bluetooth permissions, and you can choose from any devices you have paired to your phone. Um, I'll just leave this one paired. Go to input method settings. <clears throat> Check the SNES keyboard. You can leave this enabled um, in the background. It won't hurt anything. Uh, and then you go to change input method, and it's been added to the input method for your phone. Uh, so you have swipe default, but I'll change to SNES keyboard. And you can actually see it's coming up. The connection is going to fail right away because the controller is not on. Um, and this is the controller. Uh, it's got a LED, so turn on, comes on. Um, you can see it's got the battery pack uh, on the back for four AAAs. The switch right here. <clears throat> All the buttons work. But now we'll go to here, uh, back to the application. I'm going to get this screen. So you can toggle between this screen and the actual keyboard. Hit connect. And now it's connecting. And once it connects, the light will turn green. Then it'll give you the option to disconnect. See, so it just connected. Um, so now I can just disconnect by hitting that again. I'll just leave it connected. You can switch back to the keyboard if in the middle of the game you need to make a text message or something. And then, uh, so now we can actually go to the SNES Oid emulator. I'll hit Super Mario Kart. So now you can see this is the controller working this one player. <clears throat> you can see all the buttons work. Um, right now I have the audio emulation on the emulator stopped because it makes the emulator run a lot smoother, closer to the actual speed of a Super Nintendo. There's no delay on the button presses, it's just kind of like a little bit of a slow motion effect if you run it on your phone just because it doesn't have the processing power it probably needs. Ooh. As you can see, everything works pretty well. Definitely way better than the virtual keyboard that the emulator comes with. And yeah, that's it. And pause. All the buttons work. I don't think there's LR functions in this game, but yeah, and that's it. The Bluetooth Super Nintendo controller for Android.